All right, continuing on with Outer Worlds, everyone. We just cleared out the facility for Sublight, the experimental facility called the Ice Palace. We can turn to Li Lilia, see what our reward is. Outside of that, we can then go to the Emerald Vale. There's two separate missions that we can actually do for the Emerald Vale, both of which are actually uh, companion quests, one for uh, Felix, and I believe the other one is for uh, Nyoka, right? So that's pretty good. Pretty good, okay? Alrighty. Um, yeah, and then the only, only other thing left to do is the main story mission, because I still don't have a way to get this science weapon off the groundbreaker. So. I got a lot of others, though. <laughs> Alright, so let's do this. Let's go trade this in. We gotta go back to the groundbreaker, trade this mission, and I see what our reward is. Autonomous digital astrogator, Sam. Uh oh. I haven't cleaned my internals in ages. Can you hardly process the sheer quantity of dust built up in there? What's going on Can here? Can you see worse? Ah, uh, um, we'll continue this later. So it sounds like she's she's embarrassed that she's so dusty. So she got Sam the cleaning bot to come in here and clean up the <laughs> clean her up. All right, that's pretty funny. Admittedly, that's pretty funny. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Uh. I guess that's it. Goodbye. Yeah. It doesn't seem like there's any missions for her. And Sam, whenever I talk to him, Battery never has anything new. Fully charged. Yeah, there's never anything new to say to him, so. Okay, we're gonna go back to Groundbreaker. The Honest Troll has reset for seven months. Uh, Honest Troll, I honestly have no idea what email you're talking about at all, but I thank you very much for the seven months of support. <laughs> okay. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. Ah. Captain, I wish to offer my commendations for convincing the UDL's gunship to leave HRS-1084. Ah. I did not favor the idea of being stripped and sold for parts. That's a mission we just did where the the, the uh, soldiers showed up. They had trapped us to the station. And they wanted to basically, like, arrest us. But we said, well, we work for Sublight now, so if you do that, you're messing with Sublight. Good luck. And they said, they basically got scared off. And we're like, okay, screw it. We're not going to mess with you then. <clears throat> okay. OG Rascal, I'm just going to say it once. Stop right now with your stupid things that you're saying in chat. It's not going to be tolerated tonight, okay? Well, wise up, please. I don't want to have to ban you, but you're being a jerk, so. All right. Trying to be civil. Trying to be chill and civil. It's my late night chill stream. and try to be relaxed, calm, <laughs> not get excited. <laughs> okay, then. All right. Hello, Mithran Deer. How's it going tonight? <sighs> yes, it's hilarious. Naming yourself Phil's Throat Phlegm is absolutely hilarious. That's right. Make fun of me for medical problems. It's a good thing to do. It's a good thing to make fun of people because of their shortcomings of their physical bodies that they're not responsible for. Oh, <sighs> man. All right. We're going to sublight here to trade in the mission. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Marco Polo, I have no idea how I'm going to react to that training. We have to play it and see. You know, I'm going to approach it with an open mind. I'm going to see if I. It just disappeared and reappeared. I'm going to see if I, I can tolerate it, if I like it, if I don't like it. I'm going to be very honest with everybody, you know? Those streams will be something else, I'm sure. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. You also find some automix salvage awaiting new owners, right? The base had scientists and suspension tanks, so might still be alive. Let's say that. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage... I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. <laughs> Aside from the there. automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? Hell yes, we did. You have a UDL gunship, but I backed them off. <sighs> I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. 
Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. You might have figured that out already. <laughs> it's about your cloak and dagger warnings. I'll just say I'm listening, because it has something to do with UDL, obviously. Timbo Slice Chewed, he said, Hey man, how you doing? Have you ever had a concussion? Not to my knowledge. Um, and I'm pretty sure I would probably know it if I did. So, I guess not. Either that, or maybe I've had the longest concussion ever, and this whole thing, this whole past 11 years, has just been uh, hallucinated in my head as I've been unconscious. Who knows? Could be. I could wake up tomorrow and... You know, I'm still working at the helicopter job. Who knows, man? I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> anyway, I'm listening. That would be a hell of a way. Completely think of 11 years of games. That would be pretty impressive. All right, I'm listening. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. The truth about the human tailbone? <laughs> you have my interest, now you have my attention. Glad to know it, Captain. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. Hmm. I guess you have an idea, or maybe they were just hiding expensive research from pirates at like sublight. Now, nah, so I guess you have an idea. Before we go any further. I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? Okay, what the hell's going on here? All right, yes. Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. Okay. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. I knew it. Aliens from other worlds been visiting Halcyon. At least one of your crew can keep an open mind, but this isn't some Aetherwave serial millstone. This is reality. <laughs> aliens, aliens, really say nothing. Timbo slash Jude again. He said, oh, I hit enter before I was done typing. We had a first snowfall of the year. Some idiot pulled in front of me and T-boned her car. My airbag did not deploy. It's the worst thing when meds run out. It's the worst head pain ever I had. It sucks. So basically someone, someone, oh, some idiot pulled in front of you in the snow. There was no way you could have stopped because of the snow and you T-boned her car and your airbag didn't deploy. That sucks. That's real bad that your airbag didn't deploy. I'm really sorry to hear that, man. I hope you feel better. That's terrible. I mean, if you got a concussion, your head must have hit the wheel, dude. Man, that sucks ass. Figures on the first fucking snow this happens, huh? I also hope that you didn't be, be caught, that you weren't called responsible for the accident because that would be horse shit. All right, aliens. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even <laughs> asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Well, at least she doesn't expect us to believe it. Damn, she's serious. Tragic, ain't it? What age does to your mental faculties? <laughs> the crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. What the hell is this going to be? A separate quest I line? I assume you have questions. Skip to the pit where I get paid. And I'll see if we're going to see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. When you say aliens, what are we talking about here? Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators. Assuming they haven't all been replaced. Oh my god. This is an invasion of Pod our very people. cells. That damned gas is mixing our nucleon with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us, make us more like those monsters on Monarch. Well, that's exactly what the research said. If you remember, I read the documents and it said they were trying to fuse Raptodon DNA with human DNA. But why? I have no idea. The little green bastards must pay. Terrific. That go-getter <laughs> initiative will carry you far in sublight. There you go, I believe him. How do you know I'm not an alien spy? Tell me what needs to be done. Or I'll say, tell me what needs to be done. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. Now I need you to put a bullet through her skull. Damn, assassination mission. Sounds messy, but I'll take the job. Murder isn't covered. Why does Dr. Chartrand need to die? She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. Ugh. 
Now she's doing the it. same thing with humanity. <laughs> her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. Yeah, she experimented on them. When did Sublight like, get so principled? It's cute that you think that about me. I just want to add savior of humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. <laughs> alien salvage, oh my god. Oh, uh, let's see here. Mochi Moak says, me for your second stream already enjoying. Awesome, thank good to see ya. Freddy Begetton says, says, hey, chat, see you guys later. All right, have a good night, Freddy. Um, and Rod Parsley has just resubbed for 16 months. Thank you for 16 months of support, Rod. Oh, man. Let's see. Now it all makes sense. Sounds messy, but I'll take the job. Murder isn't covered. Where does short term fit your alien conspiracy theory? Or the left side pastor didn't seem that evil for science of one. Let's do that because it's a check. I'll get experience. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. Hmm. Okay. Where does she fit to your alien conspiracy theory? We're far beyond theories. Chartrand's logs, the gas, the suspension tanks. How much proof do you need? Wake up, Captain. An invasion needs collaborators working from the shadows. She has access to the board, unlimited funds, and a colony full of sheep. Hmm. All right. I'll say I'll take the job. I'm not necessarily going to kill her. I'll talk to her and try to figure out what's really going on. But I'll say I'll take the job. Uh, Mochi Moke says, um, you think that they will add mods like this like they did for Fallout 4 and Skyrim? I don't, for PC, I would think they would. I doubt you'll ever see mods for this on console. I mean, Fallout 4 had mods because, uh, Xbox One had exclusively had those mods earlier on or whatever. I don't think you're going to see any mods on console. I'd be interested to see if they do DLCs for this, but I don't know if they've announced any or not, so. Okay, I'll take the this job. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Hmm. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. Well, I haven't been to Byzantium yet. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. That's it? That's it. So the next leg of that mission is the Chimerist's last experiment. Find and kill Ava Chartrand. What I'm thinking is if I talk to Chartran, maybe we can figure out what's really going on. I doubt it's aliens. And then we'll make our decision then. Someone earlier had asked that I botch any missions. Yes. It was the one with Orson. And I didn't give him back his schematics at Roseway. And I ended up keeping them for myself. That one I botched, apparently. But the thing is, I ended up keeping the schematics and selling them anyway. So it wasn't like it was a, a total fail. All right, so we have two different things to do. We can either find Trask hiding in the Emerald Vale, or we can search this outpost. So I think this is what I want to do next. Let's go back to the ship, right? Let's go back to the ship. We'll head back to Emerald Vale to do these two missions before we continue on with the story. Hello, Tobias Alexander. No, I have not gotten Death Stranding yet. Being very honest with you, I have not bought it yet. Uh, I'm hoping to raise, you know good amount of money between now and friday to get it um it was very very slow today earlier today with mario and sonic people were disappointed the game sucked so hard and a lot of people didn't stick around for for this uh which i switched to so it is what it is you know sometimes you get screwed up days but uh you know i am definitely gonna get it by friday i feel like well, i should be able to afford it by friday so captain if you're looking for crew members ellie or felix they're sharing a drink upstairs all right well that's fine we're not gonna care about that all right Let's go to Terra, back to Terra 2, to the Edgewater landing pad. There we go. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. All right. All right, here we go. So we got two missions. We've got, uh... I forget her name now. Oh, shit. Did I need her in my party? Oh, shit. I think I did. I think I needed her in my party to do this. So I gotta go back on the freaking... <laughs> God damn it. Rod Parsley just cheered 50 bits. I can't t bring myself to play this game even though I have Game Pass. How do you like the game? I like it. See, I 
like big narrative games. I like games that have a big overlapping story, tons of content. Like, this is my style of game. The gunplay is not amazing. Um, they tried something different. Instead of having vats, they have this little slowdown mechanic. And yes, you could command your, your, your teammates to do double team attacks, which are kind of neat. But the gunplay is very simplistic and not super exciting, in my opinion. It's there. It's nice it's there. But there hasn't really been anything impressive in the fighting. It's the story, the branching paths, the, uh, the open world. That's really what's intrigued me. And, of course, the dialogue options. The dialogue options are really neat. Um, if you like that, if you've played Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, you liked that kind of stuff, then yeah, you're going to love this game. But if you're looking for something more, like a game that has tons of riveting, challenging gameplay and great gunplay and everything, that's not this game. And I think that's where a lot of people have a big divisive difference about this. All crew members. There only because some people are looking for that and some people aren't. Excuse me? Um, so Felix stays and I'm going to take Nyoka with me because that it's both of their companion missions we're doing on this planet. So there you go. I see we have some annoying uh, trolls on the stream, so I'll just take care of those. Sorry, guys. What's up, Haley Kitty? Welcome back to the stream. Good to see you. I wonder how different this game would be with Melee. If I just did Melee in, like, a tank build. But, you know, for a game like this, I didn't want to be running up and smashing everything with my fists or a weapon. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of wanted to... to Try out. Can you imagine if you just did that and no weapons at all? How different that shit would be? Alright, we're gonna do Star Crossed Troopers. That is out here. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and then we're gonna walk over there. We're going to the geothermal plant. I'm muted. No, I am not. Thank you for saying that, but I am not. You're a liar. Oh, we're already back. Trust me, I have leveled my conversation skills in this game pretty high. Not all the way, but I want to max lockpicking so there's no doors I can't open. And no chests I can't open. Then I'll work on the other stuff. <laughs> I pronounce melee different than most. It's melee. What is it? Malay? It's not melee. It's not. It's melee. Right? Is it because I say it slower? Melee instead of melee? Is that what bothers you? Does that really bother you that much? <laughs> it's that big of a deal, huh? Okay. Play Call of Duty. I'm playing Call of Duty uh, Friday night. Right after I play my first session of Death Stranding. So there you go. Should be a hell of a day. <clears throat> so, I remember doing this earlier. I remember looting this earlier. Now it looks like more enemies are showing up. I'd wager this is the outcome. Yeah, I wager that too. What this? Where the fuck did it go? Bye bye. Just fuck shit up, murder them now, yes. Man, they melted with your corrosive gun. All right, we leveled up. So, that means I'm maxing lockpicking, right? Actually, I'm at 108 now. Pristi find pristine item chance 100%. Oh, shit. If I max it like this, okay, I can take the equipment off Felix. So, what should I do next? I could do... My Persuader's 112. Holy shit. My Intimidate... My Lie is 95. My Intimidate 70. Hack? Probably hack. I need hack of 65, yeah. Now I can put something new on a... Ah, skilled! I don't know why I just got that, but I got skilled. A, tro a trophy. And I can actually go ahead and... Uh, I can take the equipment off Felix for the uh, lockpicking. I can do something else for him. 
So what I want to, by the way, thank you, AWC Great, who just tipped me five dollars. So let's start with the five dollar tip, shall we? Thank you, AWC Great, for getting the tipping started tonight. I appreciate that very much. All righty, thank you, thank you. So, what perk do we want? I don't know because I've gotten a lot of the best ones. I feel. Let's take a look at everything that's left. Uh, tactical time, dilation meter max, which I almost don't even use it anymore. Damage when alone in party, I'm never alone. Fast travel when encumbered, don't care about that. Recharge rate of the TTD. Sprint speed plus 20, okay, maybe that's good. Weapon armor durability loss down, even though I barely ever get durability loss problems. And vendors will have more stuff, don't really care about that. Dialogue skill up when you're alone, no. <laughs> Interactable highlight range, don't care about that. Bonus to extra headshot weak spot damage. Yeah, I don't really aim for weak spots either. Hello, Jay Bowler. Good evening. Good to see you. Here's it says yesterday new tire for his car yesterday. That really sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. T tires can be very expensive. Movement speed during TTD up. Science weapon damage up. Okay. Companionability cooldown for each of your kills. TTD restored per kill. Chance to reset a companionability cooldown. Movement penalty to accuracy. So you can move and still be accurate. Chance to reset companion ability cooldown with a critical hit. Science weapon damage up. Damage will under 25% health up. Range weapon sway down. Movement penalty to accuracy down. Hmm. That's a area of effect headshot damage. Negative. Ugh. Let's do totally down your movement penalty to accuracy. Okay. So now Felix doesn't have to wear the equipment that's uh, that's uh, lockpick up anymore. Right? Which is what? Is it defense skill? I don't know what it is. Actually, I don't even know what the hell's giving him giving me lockpick plus five. Hold on a second. How do I remove? How the hell do you remove equipment? Uh, I don't know. Lockpick is still 118. So Felix just gave it to me no matter what, apparently. For some reason, Felix increases my lockpick. I don't know why, but he just does. Okay. Well, we'll still do Persuade plus 5. I certainly don't need the Lockpick plus 5. What body armor do we want to give him? Range skill plus 5. Still skill plus 5. Dialogue skill plus 5. Tech skill plus 5. I would say either Tech skill plus 5... Or dialogue skill plus five. I will right, we'll do dialogue skill plus five. He's gonna have like shitty armor now. Oh well. All right. I don't want to give him the MSI armor. I want to get buffs for to my skills. I don't care about him. <laughs> I don't care about him. Oh look, here we go. Huh? Rebecca taught me this once. You can jerry rig these old locks so as they don't open anymore. Ah. But we've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. AWC Great is a sick looking gun. Yes, it's a corrosive light machine gun. It melts everything in the game so far, so. Oh no. Oh no. What did you do? Oh hell. I'm sorry, Nyoka. Yeah, they're dead. They're pretty dead. By the way, I should repair my weapons while I'm thinking about it. Repair all equipped. There you go. I repaired everything. Yeah, they're uh, they're pretty dead. What the hell happened here? Anderson's Sharon Medallion. And Rebecca's Sharon Medallion. And let's see what happened. The display's faded. The buttons are almost entirely rusted through, but you can still make out bits and pieces of what looked like Rebecca's final entries. The law helped me, but Anderson was right. We never should have taken this contract. I thought Monarch was bad, but this is unbearable. Everyone here is blind or addled, and I don't know what. 
The towns won't let us walk in without an employment contract. I can't even find someone to let me send a message. For all the capable folk here, we're stuck. Back home, we had to fight for every meal because there were no meals that you didn't make yourself. There's plenty Here, there's plenty, but no one's allowed to give you one. We've been stealing bits and pieces of life from wherever we can. Anderson is about ready to sign up. Offer his life and service to Space Destroyed just so we can take a shower. Clara, I hope the architect this never reaches you, but on the off chance it does, I want to say I'm sorry. Anderson and I fucked up. We didn't take the contract for the bits, and we didn't take it because Primal sounded cool. We took it because we wanted out. Monarchs are living hell. We were sick of it and getting sick of boiled wrapped it on, stinging like sulfur no matter how hard you scrub, of fighting. Day in and day out, we're exhausted. We thought we would use the contract money to find a place here and settle down, but this place ain't any better. It's just different. We're starving all the same. We never should have left. I just thought maybe we could do better. I miss you, kid. Marauders at the door. Anderson's bled out. I'm on my way. I won't let him get me. Not alive anyway. I'll see what the monsters. I'll see what those monsters do. I don't... They were. Wow. The bitch. They were all sent to abandon us. What would Clara say, huh? Every day she'd ask if we heard from you, and she'd have forgiven you. She'd had a soul that made the sulfur smell like roses. <sighs> I'd leave your medallions to rot with you, but Clara mm. would want to be buried with her sister. Well, that's kind of messed up and dark, don't you think? At least... At least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across the stars. It's true. <laughs> I hate to say this, but... Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think... I'm glad. If she were still alive now, I'd break her to know the truth. Damn. Oh, you rascal, I already warned you once. I'm not gonna waste my time again. One more time, you're out of here, dude. All right. She still want to know just the same as you did. I have kept it from her. The news only would have hurt her. So what now? Uh, I'll say this. She'll want to know the same as you did. Yeah, maybe. I'm used to disappointment. She was still so naive as to let it hurt her every time it happened. Only thing left is to take these medallions home, which means figuring out how to bait the mana queen out of our old base. We gotta fight that mana the queen. The most pissed yeah. off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species was on her soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. Might do it? I didn't think there was anything about the wilderness you don't know. You're guessing here. Any way to find out for sure? Not unless you happen to be familiar with the ins and outs of mana queen behavioral patterns. <laughs> Never had the pleasure of hunting primals, but I hear they're all over Scylla. Let's tear a few apart, shall we? I'm sure they've got pheromones. Everything does. She wants us to go back to Scylla to hunt primals, so we can't do that yet. We gotta leave to do that. We're not doing that. We're gonna do the other mission here first. Can make fee three pheromone glands from pungent primals. All right, so go to Scylla. Yep. All right, we're gonna do this one now. Friendships do. Okay, this guy's out in the middle of nowhere. So let's go to the botanical lab and then we'll head out to this guy who's hiding out there somewhere. All right. No pie hole. I'm done with Mario and Sonic. I only played it for an hour. It's, the game's completely unplayable. The online play is super laggy. Um, it's impossible to find matches. And the story is terrible. So I'm done with it. I played it for an hour. I'm done with it. I'm never playing it again. Tomorrow it's going to be Luigi's Mansion and WWE. Orson the Voice, I understand. If you don't like this kind of game, you don't have to be here. Sitting here and complaining about the game you chose to be here to watch me play is not only counterproductive, it makes you look like a fucking idiot, okay? I'm not gonna drop a game that I played a ton and I'm enjoying and there are people enjoying. Just because it's not your cup of tea, that's okay, but it's not your place to sit here and whine and be entitled. If you don't like it, come back tomorrow. Luigi's Mansion, WWE, or wait till Friday. You got Death Stranding, you got Modern Warfare. That's a lot of variety. I'm not gonna sit here and take people whining. I'm just not gonna do it anymore, so that's that you keep it up you'll find yourself with da's boot to your ass what the fuck is that everyone all right yeah but i don't know how to get to this uh thing it still says it's a hundred a hundred meters underground oh shit
You know, she said we had to hunt primals on Scylla. I don't see why. Look. They all, there's a million primals on this planet, but for whatever reason, they're not going to give me the primal glands that I need from these. They're going to make me go to Scylla and hunt other ones, aren't they? These guys are just going to give me primal hides. Damn, dude, all their legs popped off and shit. So we got two ways to go. This looks like the way for the quest. What's in this cave over here? Ah, look. Some items. I'm sure I could have done this way earlier in the game. I walked by this earlier. I never picked any of this shit up. Okay, now we can go the other way. There you go. Fred Flintstone just cheered and he says he demands I play another game right now. Re. There you go. Yeah, you know, Emerald Vale being the first planet you were on, pretty much these enemies are pushovers now, so. Alright, this is Trask. We want to get the real story from Trask of what's going on. He's got a crew. Outlaws. Fuck. We got a pile of bodies. Let's talk to Trask. I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. What makes you think I work for Harlow? I'll see your... Yeah, I'll just say that. Right. You just stumbled into a camp full of armed strangers because you wanted directions. How much is Harlow paying you? I'm doing this as a favor. <laughs> a favor, huh? Let me guess. He promised you some reward in the brave new world that was to come. Said he'd make you his lieutenant if you crossed me off. <laughs> Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Harlow wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. All right. Rich homie Taiwan says I've offended them. I demand that I end the stream immediately or you'll be hearing from my lawyers. Good day to you, sir. All right, everyone. I'm sorry. We got to end early. Someone's threatened to sue me. So that's it for tonight. I hope you guys have a good night. I'll have to see you guys later. Peace out. All right, I'm just kidding. No one gives a fuck. Okay, why did you betray Harlow or Harlow wants your ring as proof of your death? That's all I'm after. Let's say that. Harlow wants my ring? Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. A ring's a lot easier to lose than a hand. How do I know that I can trust you? What's the worst that could happen? Harlow is the stranger with a gun after you. If I wanted to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Yeah, guess that's a fair point. <laughs> Listen. I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. Oh, really? The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All the palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Go piss up a rope, kid. I've got <laughs> nothing to prove to you. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another board asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. You're asking me to take you for your word. Show me some evidence. I'm not going to kill you, Trash, but I ain't going to ask you for your ring. Hold on, you got some explaining to do. Alright. Say your piece. You're asking me to take you for your word. Show me some evidence. Why would the bird buy off Harlow? Let's say that. Because he's for sale. Anything the board can buy, the board will buy. And that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard, and he was ruthless. Hmm. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. Can you show me some evidence? Yeah, I've got proof. Oh, really? There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. Temperament. Yeah, there is. You're looking at him. Ah, oh, there you go. Huh. You ain't like other board agents I heard about. You got a functioning spine. <laughs> you want to confront Harlow yourself? Be my guest. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. We're gonna go back I there, huh? evidence in that vent. 
All right, I've heard enough. Take it, you've made up your mind. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill you, but I'll ask for your ring. You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. Uh, here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. Take care. So we didn't kill him, and now we gotta go find the trash stash evidence back on Scylla, right? Which means both quests go back to Scylla. Yeah. All right, let's fast travel back to the ship. There we go. Yes, Vincent, I agree. Very reminiscent of Fallout or Mass Effect, kind of a combination of the two, and it's a great game. So I'm loving this. Combat, why do you say that? Because I think the game is chill, but the stream not so much. Why? Why don't you think the stream is chill? I'm relaxing. I'm having a good time. I mean, yeah, we're always going to have, you know, jerks who are going to try to be negative about stuff, but I'm not paying any attention to that. Huh, look. You can pick this lock. Uh. I never picked this lock before. Let me save, this, save my game and see if I can sneak in. Okay. Some nimble fingers, Captain. Keep us up. Not really anything in here I need. I thought there'd be something good. It's not. <laughs> it's pretty cr generic, crappy stuff. Yeah. You know why? Because this is early on in the game. So this is probably like, you know entry level items. Nothing. I thought maybe there'd be some like good weapons or mods or something there. There's like nothing there. All right, we can get out of here. <clears throat> All right. So, using my old blue PS4 controller has worked perfectly today. Um. Not a single problem. All I had to do was take the sticker off the back and clean it and get the glue off. But outside of that, this has worked completely flawlessly. No issues at all. So, good stuff. Okay. So, I think both missions are back on Scylla. Yep. Back to Harlow's base. Then we gotta go to the landing pad to hunt the freaking tribals or whatever. But let's do the Harlow's mission first. I'll hold him. Oh! Ha ha ha. Don't tickle. Oh, oh. What? No, it doesn't tickle. Am I looking forward to Rock and Morty? Yeah, when I when they finally announced that they were gonna get Dwayne the Rock Johnson to replace Rick on Rick and Morty, I was amazed. I was like, dude, that's gonna be a great show. No, I seriously cannot wait for more. It's going to be fucking great A good stuff, man. All right. Can I sing the Baby Shark song? Never heard of it. What does the back of my shirt say? It has text on it. This shirt? No, it doesn't. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, it does not. I think my controller's plugged in. Um, This is plugged into my laptop. So I always leave... My PS4 controller plugged into my laptop. That way it always has charge and never runs out. <sighs> Do an Australian accent for you. Why? Why? <laughs> Oops. Someone's a little too fast. So the evidence is over here.
stashed receipts. The receipts detailed payments made to C. Harlow on behalf of the board for freelancing services, including are the names of several freighters targeted by Harlow's crew, their manifest, and the sum value of all cargo delivered to board authorities. Wow. All right. Well, let's see what happens now. Might have to fight these guys. Do I feel this game has any major flaws? Anything I'd change if I could? Ask Baldy. Yes, the combat. I think the combat's too easy. Even on hard, the combat is not challenging nor complicated. It's very, very basic. I feel that the game should have more stuff to the combat, and it doesn't. Okay. Some big jaws. Huh. What's the word? Show him trash ring. It's done. Trask is dead. Trask had a lot to say about you. Yeah. <laughs> Not huh? surprised. Trask was a dead man trying to negotiate with his own executioner. He'd say anything to preserve his life. Trask told me we were going with the board. That's a <clears throat> damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? Show him the papers. You've been brought, bought up. I've got the receipts. Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. <laughs> that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. I think you owe Felix an explanation. When we met, you told me Trask was an informant for the board. You were lying. You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my face. I'm done arguing. Trask was right. You deserve to die. Come on, Harlow. Why would Trask rat, rat you out to your own employers? How should I know? But what the hell do I care? Trask was a traitor. I didn't ask you to understand his motives. I asked you to cross him off. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. Wow. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. Oh, good. Damn. <laughs> well, that's how it's done. Oh man, this one turned into a fucking pile. Look at that. So, let's be with Felix on the ship. So now we gotta talk to Felix on the ship, and that's the end of the quest line. We had to kill his friggin' friend. Pretty messed up. Although, I'd say not much of a friend, right? Not much of a friend. He was basically using him to do his friggin' dirty work. You know, he hadn't talked to the guy in years. Then all of a sudden he contacts him, and now he starts asking for favors and shit. So it's pretty messed up. Well, that's that, I guess. Is that all the outlaws? Now we can loot these scrap mechanicals. That's all the outlaws. They came rushing in and got slaughtered. Did I hear something? Oh, shit! More. Oh, my God! So much for that guy. All right, well, Baldy took me a dollar. So I don't understand what contributions are low. You're gauging the chat and you're and your voice acting. I'm not voice acting. It seems to me more people are being lazy and not coming out. Baldy, you should stop that right now. First of all, as I said, every single time I stream, there is no obligation for anyone to contribute to any stream. It's perfectly fine if people don't. My hope is that if I'm putting out a quality stream that's entertaining the viewers and it's a playthrough that people want to see continue. They will come, and of their own accord, they will uh, contribute. It's not always going to work that way. And just being uh, truthful here, it's not always going to work that way. There will always be nights when things are slow, and that's perfectly fine. Um, 
you know, I can't make people contribute. Even though I tell people, you know, I really do need the help, there's nothing you can do about it, right? So we'll see what happens. Tonight, we still got over an hour left on the stream. We'll see what happens. Your stuff's slow today. Tomorrow's another day. We got Luigi's Mansion. We got WWE. Things are slow then. Well, Friday, we've got Death Stranding premiering. Hopefully, that'll bring people to the streams. We got Modern Warfare again. You know, that's why I'm a good, I'm a variety streamer. You know what I mean? But no, people are not lazy and not coming out to the streams. That's something that, uh, you know, someone who's very, 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 uh, what's the word? Someone who's very, um, I can't think of the word. But basically, that's not the way I am. You know, maybe a long time ago I used to be like that. I remember when on YouTube back in like 2012, I'd be doing a playthrough and the views were low. And I'd be like, why isn't anyone coming to watch my playthrough? It's different. It's very different now. I, you know, I, now I've, I've grown. I understand. I've matured. I know that that's not the case. No one has to watch my content at all. No one has to contribute. I'm grateful for any kind of contribution I get. The fact that I'm still here after so long shows that people do value what I do. I know that overall in the long run it's going to work out. If you have a slow night, that's not. That's just one night, right? It's not the be all and end all of everything. I just got to hope that you know over the course of this week. Hopefully, I, I'm making a good enough tips not only to afford the new games, but to pay bills and stuff. And if I don't, I don't. What can I do, right? That's life. Okay, so we're heading this way. Oh, shit. The pungent primal behemoth just died. He drop kicked the primal in the face. Uh. It's red, you said? Heal. In one piece. Oh, uh, Chick Chigler says, let's be honest, you were pretty hammered back then when you said those things. I mean, no. <laughs> I don't know what you really mean by that. I used to say that, like, while recording, I used to say that normal times I'd be frustrated that people wouldn't come check out the stuff. And I'd be like, what can you do, right? See, back then, people always told me how good I was. People always told me that I was, like, the best Let's Player and stuff. So I wouldn't understand if I'm playing a game that wasn't exciting why people wouldn't show up. And it would frustrate me because, you know, that was my living. I was 100% dependent on YouTube views. So if YouTube views were low, I'd be like, I don't know how to fix that. You know, if the game kind of stinks, what do you do? What the hell is this? Abandoned prospecting drone. Salutations. This unit's primary function is excavator. Owner, Hephaestus Mining Corporation. Other functions include dialogue, limited, current active commands, excavation. That is all. This place is abandoned. I think you can stop. Negative. Huh. The presence or absence of human operators does not impact this unit's assigned directive. This unit achieves perfection by fulfilling its directive. This unit sounds like my old foreman. You know, it's a crying shame that auto mechanicals can't get drunk or laid. <laughs> this thing needs both. This unit has now exhausted its available library of opinions about excavation. What are you excavating? This unit is removing rock matter in search of minerals, metals, and other forms of matter designated valuable. So you're a prospector. Brevity identified. Affirmative. This unit could discuss excavation at greater length but does not wish to strain its daily charge. Thank you for your consumer loyalty, Junior Excavator. This unit will store this exchange in its memory banks. Always. Uh, okay. Margo Polo did a highlighted message saying, what do I think would happen if Kojima and Naughty Dog teamed up to make an epic game together? I mean... Naughty Dogs hasn't yet made a bad game, in my opinion. So, obviously, that would be good. 
Uh, Kojima and Naughty Dog teaming up? I don't know. That would be pretty interesting, to say the least. I don't know if it would be great. <laughs> I guess we'd have to see. It's an interesting premise. Of course, you gotta remember, Kojima wants to make his own thing. He's kind of that rebel guy. You know, he wants to make his own style of game. And he probably doesn't want to have Naughty Dog laying in their own thoughts on what would be good in his own game. Because he's a creative guy who wants, I believe, he wants to have as much control over his projects as possible. Uh, and that's okay, especially if you if you feel like you're uh, someone who's doing something unique or different or interesting. You obviously want that kind of control, right? Ah, oh, shit, I didn't reload. That was pretty dumb of me. Yes, drop kick the primal. Bohemoth. He died as I was as he was killing the last guy. He died. Somebody's after us. Don't Stupid outlaws. Okay. By the way, there's another cave here. Let me get this gland, and then we'll go in that cave. Kojima wants to start doing movies. Didn't I say that, like, a million years ago? I said that he should do movies. <laughs> I think that he would be in good movies. I think the problem with his games are... There's too much story elaboration and too many story cutscenes. I said he would be better making movies, and now he wants to do movies, really. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting how stuff works out, huh? So what's in this cave? Damage hover mechanical. A bunch of dead bodies. I can't talk to this thing. Someone has been up with the exercise. What did it say? I don't think it knows that the humans it was with are dead. <laughs> I wonder if I had Sam with me now, if he would be able to talk with the robots better. Hmm. No, I killed Kenny. I haven't really... There's nothing... No information available about Elden Ring yet. He's asking have I seen or heard anything about it. No, there's nothing available. Like, all we know is it's being developed. That's it. So... Okay. Right, continuing on. The final gland is over here. <laughs> so we gotta talk to Felix aboard the ship to finish his companion quest line. And then we've got to talk to, uh, well, we've gotta actually have to take these glands somewhere else and then fight the Manta Queen. Butterscorch? What the fuck is that? It's dead now. It has a ring on it. A toss ball card. What the fuck is a Colonel Butterscorch? I have no idea. No, I did not see the ad that Rick and Morty made for Death Stranding. I did not see that. Yes. You're going down. Ah, 
That was a bad place to come up on the ground. That it? That's it. What's funny is you get like no experience from these guys at all. They're all just pushovers now. Okay. Speak to the Yoko. Where'd she go? She's in the dead body of the primal. Wow. That queen ain't gonna go down easy. I can't wait. What's up? These glands are gross. Take them, please. <laughs> Outstanding. These ought to be enough. Let's get back to Monarch. There's an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the Queen's brood to get to the center. Oh boy. We'll set the bait there. Password to the door is Charon. What a surprise. What is Charon? Because, yeah, we've been seeing everything said Charon on it, but we don't know actually what it is. Hayes's idea. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, Nioka. Oh, Charon. is there, there each one he of said their it was initials? Some old yeah. Myth. Something about death and all the things we killed. The rest of us just thought it sounded cool, so there we are. All right. It's about time. Let's go kill the Manta Queen. Fucking right we are. Okay. All right, so let's go back to the ship. We'll talk to him while we're on the ship, and then we'll go there and do that mission, and then we'll be ready to continue on with the uh, the plot. Very cool. Okay, good stuff.